The Bagel, one of New York's food icons, and today our mission is to visit the most popular bagel shops in the city to find out just why they're so good. From the classics to wild flavors, we're gonna take a bagel tour you won't soon forget. Let's go. We're starting this journey in Whitestone, Queens, where my co-host, native New Yorker Greg, you've been coming here for years. Why Utopia Bagels? There's something special about these bagels. I think they're the best in the city. It's the technique. You're gonna see what it's all about. There's nothing like Utopia Bagels. Well, it's definitely a lot more space than Manhattan Bagel Shop. Look at that production area. It's crazy. A lot of people working. My name is Jesse Spellman. I'm the co-owner at Utopia Bagels. Uh, welcome to the shop. We go through about 70 to 100,000 bagels a week. So that comes out to about 10 to 14,000 bagels a day, all hand rolled. Utopia Bagels opened in uh, 1981. This side of the store we took over in 2014. You know, we're always looking to do new ideas forever and do crazier options. Uh, we do a giant pizza bagel, as a lot of you may see now. So we don't teach any timers or anything like that. It's all about feel and eye. So once they get on the seed boards, then we seed the top of them. So the boards go in the oven and they get one rotation around this oven and then we flip them off of the boards onto the slate. That's how they get the crispy bottoms. This specific oven, it's a Middleby Marshall from 1947. Uh, definitely the only one left in the city, that as far as I know of. Fresh bagels at Utopia is our motto. You come in on any day, 4.30, 4.45, we close at five, you're still gonna be able to get a hot bagel out the oven. What makes our bagel special is, again, the, the great workers we have here that is servicing the customers and also taking that extra step in terms of caring for the bagel. The bag of bagels adventure is about to begin. We saw everything being made. You can imagine how hungry we are. I'm starving right now. Excited to see what you think of it. You're a Fairlawn bagel guy. I'm a Jersey bagel boy, so I grew up with amazing bagels in my hometown of Fairlawn, New Jersey. We're going simple to start. I got an everything with scallion cream cheese. We got egg everything, so basically the same, but with the egg bagel, everything seasoning. Not easy to find these. My favorite bagel here to get. And the first thing that strikes me, they're not that big. A lot of New York bagels are way puffier. Yeah, it's a lot lighter. It's not so much of a gut bomb usually, which is nice. All right, let's give, let's give us a go. That may be the crispiest exterior of a bagel I've ever tried in my life. That's a major compliment. Mm -hmm. Got a really nice chew to it, very light. Like it's, it's really not gonna be such a gut bomb like some other bagel shops can be. You know, crispy on the outside, and then like soft and pillowy on the interior. I can't say I've ever had a bagel quite like this one, and this has got to be one of the best bagels I've ever had in my entire life. And they really put a lot of care into it. There's so much prep that goes in the back, uh, just the way they ferment it, the uh, proofing. There's just a lot that goes into it. It's really an art to make bagels like this. I also don't think I've ever finished a bagel this fast. Like, I'm almost done. <laughs> bagels usually take a little bit longer for me, but this is so good. I just can't help myself. Mm. You know, what I think makes them stand out is the oven from 1947. Mm -hmm. Pizza shops in New York are all about the ovens, but we don't think about bagel places enough when it comes to ovens, really right? We don't, yeah, because like some pizzerias, like they'll keep the ovens forever because really they've been seasoned for a long time. And it would make sense too. I mean, bagels, pizza, they're both baked goods. Uh, prepping with the dough, the dough is extremely important in both cases, so it makes a lot of sense. It all comes down to technique. Attention to detail. I mean, as Jesse was going through it with us, you could see like every little step taken care of there. What I was really impressed by, there's no timers there. It's all by feel, like that's experience and professional right there. And if you like what you saw here, they are available on Gold Belly. One thing that they're very proud of is how they're a mix of an old school spot open in 1981 and new school with a lot of these, let's say more Instagrammable bagels. This is like the ultimate breakfast sandwich right here. You got hash browns, sausage, egg, cheese, avocado, a bit of chipotle mayo on there too, and a Asiago bagel. Never really gotten anything here that's so involved like this. You guys stick with the classics, so I'm excited to try it. It's really a whole breakfast in one sandwich. And I love that just the bagel itself is not so heavy, just like we've been stressing so far about it. So it really is a great balance of the filling and the bagel. This is the worth it. We've got cream cheese, lox, tomatoes, onions, and capers on sesame bagel. You know, for a spot so well known for their bagels, their lox are actually really, really good, but not overly salty. Obviously you have an amazing bagel to go with it. The worth it is absolutely 
worth it. They have these incredible bagels, and then you can order all sorts of varieties for lunch or even for dinner. There's actually an excellent Szechuan restaurant directly across the street here called Legend of Taste. We've had a full family style meal there and still come here afterwards for dessert because <laughs> if you're in this neighborhood, you gotta go to Utopia. As long as you're here before five o'clock, you gotta do it. So that was dessert. And Jesse was telling us that some old timers come with suitcases, bring their bagels to Florida the last months. Uh, one day, a man, a gentleman comes in, he goes, hey, what's going on? I'm from Dubai, I just came here, wanna try the bagels, and I'm like, did you come here just to try the bagel? He goes, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get the bagels and fly back right now. And the guy, you know, he had nice clothes on, nice watch, decked out. And walk outside, sure enough, there's nine family members all from Dubai, like excited, trying the bagels. Crazy the ty type of people, you know, you get to come from all over. That was the best bagel I had in my entire life. That was, really? I said that on camera too. He knows, he knows. <laughs> Absolute bagels, as old school as they come, just an icon here in Upper Manhattan. Oh yeah, this is the Upper West Side staple right here. One of the best bagel shops in the city, I'll say, uh, along with Utopia. An important note, bring your cash, cash only. Yeah. I love it, it's like the old school, like Chinese takeout style menu. <laughs> I love it. Usually the line here is around the block. You come around a Saturday or Sunday, be prepared to wait for an hour with a bunch of Columbia students. Oh, they charge you 10 cents for toasting. We're not toasting. No, no, I never toast. What do you say? I, I never think you have to toast a good bagel. I never yeah. toast either. What I like is I see a lot of the everything bagel seasoning on this, really coated on the bagel. They don't look too puffy as well. These, they look great. Uh, one everything bagel with uh, veggie cream cheese, please. Three Thai teas also, please, small. Thank you. So even while ordering the bagels, I see them hand rolling them up in the back over there. I see the big uh, kettle to boil them too. Well, right in front of us, it's cool to watch. There's not too many bagel spots where you order a Thai iced tea and you're gonna find out why shortly. Oh, perfect for summer. Yeah. This spot. All right, got our drink, got some bagels, let's rock. We got the uh, everything with vegetable cream cheese. I'm getting kind of similar vibes actually to Utopia. Not so dense, not so big, what do you see? Yeah, not so dense here, it's like a little thinner. Some of these bagels can be very puffy. This one looks just nice as far as size. So how many times have you been here? This is my second trip. I think this might be my third or fourth time here. Absolutely was blown away by this, but let's, let's see how it tastes the second time around. Mm. Very chewy, very crispy on the outside. This is solid. This is as good as I remember. Yeah. You? Very good. It's like a nice chew, not so dense and heavy. Huh. Um, nice coating with uh, everything uh, spice on the outside. I do like that. Something else I like about Absolute is a location here. We're right under Morningside Heights. You don't really see tourists coming here. Not so much. This is a place I would really recommend for anyone in Manhattan who wants a really good bagel. It's worth taking the trip because also it's a nice neighborhood, very scenic. Now remember I mentioned the Thai iced tea. Interesting fact, the owner is from Thailand. His name is Sam Thong Kring, and in 1990, he moved from Bangkok to New York City. He actually used to work at Essa Bagel. So I think a lot of the staff here is Thai, and because of that, well, you've been to Thailand recently. How does the Thai iced tea rank for you? I'll say this one is not too sweet. You really taste the tea. It's not as heavy on the milk, and I think it pairs really well with the more salty, savory bagel. I mean, that's just New York City right there. Yeah. You have someone from Thailand who is running what was traditionally a, a Jewish business with bagels. I would say a lot of bagel shops right now are not owned by Jewish people, Greek people, people of all ethnicities in New Absolutely. York make bagels. Yeah, it's like pizza too. Pizza from all different backgrounds, Albanian, Mexican, you name it. We got Essa Bagel, and I think this is the most well-known bagel spot to tourists and people who aren't from New York. This is the original location, opened in 1976 here in Gramercy. Yeah, they have multiple locations throughout the city. I used to work nearby one. Very solid bagel. Makes you think of like Joe's Pizza as far as like recognizability for a New York iconic food, like bagels or pizza. Definitely an icon, I yeah. agree. All right, well, we're going to the original. Let's see. Hey, everything scallion? Yeah, thank you. That was quick, bro. Yeah. Ready to rock. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. You too. You can see how far these bagels have traveled on this map, like where they're shipping them out, I guess, with Gold Belly. And as Greg noted, Florida has the most people. Oh my, it's like, the whole state is full of order. All the snowbirds. You know what I, I noticed immediately is just how much heavier one bagel is. Like one from Essa feels like two from Absolute Utopia. Yeah, a little workout. 
Greg, did you know that Essa a bagel in Yiddish and German means eat a bagel? I did hear that once before, yeah. Hence the name. Mm -hmm. Yeah, playing off the, uh, the Jewish background of the New York City bagel because that is where the bagel originated from uh, Jews from Poland who came to New York City at the uh, turn of the 20th century. And, you know, when I think of like the stereotypical New York bagel, I'm thinking of Vanessa bagel. It, it's fat mm -hmm. like this and it has three pounds of cream cheese. I love the coating of the everything bagel seasoning on the bottom. Oddly on the top, there's not so much, but here it's covered and I love that on everything bagels. Uh, Very puffy as compared to the first two stops, but it looks good. All right, let's rock, let's try this. Definitely a lot softer mm -hmm. and doughier than the other two bagels we had. No, everything bagel seasoning is a little more on the salty side here, mm -hmm. though there is a lot of it, I do like that. I do like the chewiness and the bit doughy, but I'm really more into the lighter bagel, I would say. Yeah, I think this is like more what you're typically gonna find in New York, this style of bagel. Again, especially with this much cream cheese, if you don't say anything, mm -hmm. but I think it's yeah. perfectly fine. This was the first bagel you ever had in the city. And for a lot of people it is. I've been to the Midtown location and the line was insane. This is the original. We came in the afternoon on a Monday, so not that many people, but you know, they get a lot of return business for a reason. They definitely were in like Midtown area down here. They're a very solid option, I would say. I don't know if I'm getting the same reaction to the Utopia or the Absolute Bagel, which just completely stood out for me as far as just like your, your classic bagel. But I do think this stands by itself. Mm -hmm. I do think this is solid. Definitely famous for a reason. I think it's quite good. I think it really depends if you, you like a bigger, fluffier, no. like a little doughier bagel, it's just probably your kind of spot. But it's, it's quite good. I think half of this could fill me up. Like, yeah, really, it's a, it's massive. The thing is, Absolute and Utopia really aren't in touristy areas. So you're probably more likely to come to Essa Bagel. Yeah, those are more, I would say, destination spots. This is more like a very convenient, very solid bagel you can get in New York. If you're visiting New York and you want one of the best local street food tours in the city, check out Greg's tour. We're gonna put the information down below. I send so many of my viewers to him and they always have an amazing time. Oh yeah, love to see you on the tour. Please come join us. Tompkins Square Bagels, opened in 2011, named after Tompkins Square Park, just one block away. And I would say this is the hipster choice. It's the really popular East Village option. Yeah, all over social media, you definitely see the rainbow bagel. That, they're very famous for that. And a lot of the other sweet bagels and other funky combos. Probably the funkiest bagels we'll eat today. 33 different types of cream cheeses. That's, that's where we'll start. You'll see the rest. Oh, it's big. Definitely feel like we're in the East Village. Yeah. Hi, right, we're looking for Frank. Ah, uh, yes, we all are. My name is Frank Russo. I am the district manager for Tompkins Square Bagels. We have about 33 to 40 different spreads. We created a lot of these just from trends, comments, people wanted different things, and we came up with our own recipes. All the cream cheeses here are made in house. My men aren't uh, deli guys, they're food stylists, they're, they're sandwich artists. They, they just don't make it, they create it. I'm curious, you ever have people who look at these flavors that are like, no, you can't put this kind of sweet stuff on a bagel like they're traditionalists. What do you say to them? Uh, they don't know the kids at NYU. They're, they're old timers. They like their old cream cheese and locks. Uh, That's it. No, nothing else. You know your audience. Yes. Yeah. The people that come here are the ones that really love the bagels and the actual oddballs, all oddball stuff that we serve. Okay. One of our classic favorites. It's the French toast bagel with birthday cake cream cheese. Now, the birthday cake cream cheese is basically like a sweet cream with uh, funfetti sprinkles. Plain bagel with walnut raisin cream cheese, chocolate chip cookie dough, oh, and a French toast bagel. Growing up in, uh, in Fairlawn, New Jersey, I think I would have been really interested in trying bagels like this as a kid. Now, he was telling us that the NYU students are in love with these wild bagels. French toast with birthday cake cream cheese. You got the, got the cookie dough, chocolate chip cookie dough cream cheese. So this is completely putting some of those flavors we had like on their sides right now. We're going from very savory to very sweet. Mm -hmm. Go from very traditional to very non-traditional. And I'm here for it. You know, Pamey is one of the people who's more of a skeptic initially, but seeing it and smelling it, I'm actually very excited. Let's give it a go. Desserty. That would be the first words mm -hmm. that come to mind. 
like serve this at a party afterwards. I don't know. Even for breakfast, if you're looking for something sweeter, yeah. The birthday cake cream cheese, it's sweet, but it's not like overly sugary. Yeah. It literally tastes like I'm just taking little pieces of a birthday cake. You're taking off the layer, the cream. And this uh, French toast bagel, I know he said it was brioche. I really taste that. I taste a bit of the cinnamon in here. Um, so it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool riff on like a French toast breakfast, but in bagel form. The bagel sounds quite uh, billowy, soft. I really like it. I think it pairs really nice with a sweet cream cheese. I'll tell you, it's probably the first sweet bagel cream cheese combo I've ever tasted that I enjoyed. What's wild to me is comparing this to Absolute Bagels, like almost old school as they come. And then they have these flavors here and these cream cheeses. Do you think that people's tastes are beginning to change? I mean, I think in general, I think people are getting more creative with, uh, you know, like sandwiches. You have these places that do crazy, customizable, like Aki Way. Yeah, think exactly. That, like, I think now it's just kind of like very creative, even with pizza. Like a lot of foods are getting much more creative. I think because people are more adventurous, more willing to step out of their comfort zones when it comes to traditional foods. And I think Tompkins Square was the first one to do the French toast bagel. And this was before Instagram. This is before TikTok. This is before these things really blew up, who would you tell to come here? Uh, someone who loves dessert. I mean, we haven't really tried the savory. We ate a lot of savory today, but if you want to try something really unique and really like sweets, I would say come here. If you want to go to like a pastry store, you want to kind of, you want to try a bagel, but you want to get a little sweetness to it, come here. Plus, if you're visiting New York City, high chance you're in the East Village at some point. Yeah. And maybe one person in your group likes really sweet stuff. You can still get all the classics here. They even have a Jersey bagel, Taylor ham and cheese. They have everything here. I really like the bagel itself. This French toast bagel is really unique. I haven't heard of this before here. I uh, really like the flavor. It's a little subtle cinnamon in there. It's an eggy flavor. Very nice. I had certain expectations for all the spots, especially Utopia and Absolute, but I would say this was the biggest surprise. I did not expect to like this sweet dessert type of bagel as much as I did. Same here. I'll actually say that Tompkins is the first time I've ever been here. And I'm just really shocked in like a pleasant surprise kind of way. Like I usually don't go for sweet bagels. I'm very much a traditionalist. Like the funkiest I'll go maybe some chipotle cream cheese on a bagel because I like that flavor. But I will rock with these uh, sweet ones. I actually tasted a little bit of the espresso cream cheese, which is amazing. If you're a coffee lover, really like that one. When you visit New York, the first thing people always want to try are bagels and pizza. And in this video, we try New York's most viral pizza shops to find out why they're so popular, head here next.